Well, if I'm stuck here, I may as well just do my intro. What's going on, y'all? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish. Today, we're heading on down to a little pond that I fished a couple of times. Never filmed that before. Only caught a couple of fish out of here, but I'm super excited. We're going to try and get out of here for an evening bite. We've got about an hour and a half as of right now until the sun goes down. So hopefully we have enough time after this train passes to get down to the pond, tie up a couple of things, and uh, get on a few bass. But yeah, I'm probably just gonna turn up some music and hang out here for a minute because this looks like it's gonna be a long one. But uh, yeah, once this thing passes, we'll get over these train tracks and uh, onto our little destination. Stick with it and I'll catch you down at the pond. All right, so we're about to go head on down to the pond. It's just across the road over here. It does look like there are a couple of people fishing already, but I'm gonna stay on the other side of the pond with them. And, uh, Let's see if we can catch some fish over here. Got about an hour or so until the sun goes down. So we're gonna see if we can make something happen. Let's start over here and uh, see where these fish are gonna be at. Brought two rods, I brought a jig, because the last time I was here they were biting a jig pretty good. I also brought a popper. I think between those two, we should have a pretty good chance of connecting with the fish. The water in this pond is just disgustingly green. So I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Oh. Okay. Well, my rod just broke. So I guess we won't be using that. Okay. So that is two broken rods in three days. Nice. I'm gonna fall down this hill, and uh, then I'm gonna try this jig. Actually, I'll move over this way a little bit more. Actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna tie that popper onto this rod, and we're gonna use it on this. Not really the optimal setup for that popper. This is a seven foot medium heavy, but it is kind of a, a chunky, beefy seven foot medium heavy. Uh, it was designed off of the same blank as the favorite phantom rods, uh, but it's even beefier, and those rods are pretty beefy to begin with. So, uh, yeah, we're really going to have to be gentle with these fish if we do get bit. And now I'm stuck in a tree. Epic! You've got to be kidding, brother. All right. I guess we'll cut this again and tie it on again. Oh, damn it. All right. Take three. Let's try and actually make a cast now. There we go. Come on. First cast bass. Let's see it. Nice, now that's on the bank. Awesome. Doing really great tonight, folks, in case you were wondering. Just been killing it in the fishing department, to be honest. Oh, beauty cast. Let's see. Fish? Oh. I got smacked at. Oh, got him. There we go. First fish of the day. Not a bad one. Get up here. Yes. There we go. Number one. That didn't take very long. Calm down. I've learned my lesson with these little popper fish. They really just want to hook you. So we're just going to go right for the pliers with this guy. I know. I know. I know. I know. All right, buddy, you put a hook in my hand, I will be throwing you very far when I throw you back. Calm yourself, calm yourself. All right, all right. All right, there we go, first fish of the day. A little maybe one pounder. Appreciate you, buddy, I'm gonna drop you a little bit, apologize. Ah, perfect dive, hell yeah. Nice. All right, it's one fish for the day. That was pretty sweet. I just threw up over here, 
on the bank almost, just like right parallel to the bank. That little dude came up and crushed it. Actually, he was behind it. He hit it once, missed it, and I kept popping it, and he was behind it again and committed to it the second time. So that was pretty sick. Just on this little popper right now, it is the Hardcore Popper uh, 70F. I'll leave a link down in the description along with the exact color. I'm not really sure. Just kind of like a translucent bait fish kind of color with a chartreuse stripe on the top and an orange horn on the bottom. A little feathered treble. Super sweet little popper. I haven't thrown it around very much, but uh, when I have, I've had some decent luck with it. So uh, we're gonna keep throwing it. Maybe try up in this corner for a few casts and uh, see if we can't find ourselves another couple of fish. Oh, got another one. That's a better one, I think. Oh yeah, definitely better fish. Huh. Eh, about the same size. There we go. That guy just kind of slurped it. Epic, all right, it's fish number two on that little popper. Calm down, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Again, eating that front treble, love to see that. Whew. All right, all right, all right. Man, I like peg this guy's mouth shut, apologize. Okay, I'm gonna put you back. God damn, brother. All right, buddy, appreciate it, see ya. Just disappears into the water, that's gross. <laughs> All right, that's two fish, both very, very close to the bank. So I think we have now officially got a pattern going on. Well, actually, I think if we do one more, if we catch one more fish like that, then it's considered a pattern. But I got a pretty good feeling that this is going to continue. So we're going to keep moving, try and cover some water, and uh, make some more casts up super shallow. See if we can't come across a couple more. Maybe one a little bit better size, although those two weren't bad, like pounds, which is pretty solid for this little pond. Whoa, holy crap. Okay. I guess there was a carp there. Holy crap. <laughs> that was crazy. I did not see a carp there. I don't know where that guy just came from. The next day. All right, y'all. Morning number two. It is a beautiful Sunday morning today. And we're gonna see if we can catch a couple more fish for this video. I uh, just decided to walk over to one of the other ponds near my apartment. So we are just about there right now. Brought two rods with me. Just got that popper that we had tied on yesterday. And then also just a little bit wacky rig just for when it gets a little bit later. But uh, we're gonna come up here, see if we can find ourselves a couple of topwater fish and uh, see what happens this morning. Hopefully I don't break this rod today. That would be very unfortunate. I'd be down to like one moving bait rod. This is like my square bill rod. I've got another rod that I can use for a square bill, so I wouldn't be out of luck there, but in terms of a popper, I would have to throw them on my spinning reel, which, to be honest, I don't really like to do. Just something with the popping. Not a fan to do it on a spinning reel. I'd much rather do it on a bait caster. All right. I don't think there's any fish around right now, in this pond at least. Don't want to eat this popper. And to be quite honest with y'all, I don't want to throw the wacky rig right now. Haven't gotten that desperate. So uh, we're going to switch ponds real quick. 
Go run over to the private ponds. I know I'm cheating, but whatever. There are a lot of really bitey little fish in that pond though, so we do have a pretty good chance of crossing paths with an aggressive one, especially on a cool morning like this morning. Again, it's like probably high 50s, maybe 60 degrees. So these fish are probably loving this cooler temperature and uh, probably gonna wanna take advantage of it before it gets super hot today. Oh, got him, got a fish, there we go, little guy, there we go, oh, not a bad one actually, first one of the morning on the popper, finally, alright, calm yourself buddy, alright, not a bad little fish, especially for this little pond, very fat, I don't know what he's been eating, probably crawfish or something like that, gave him a little bloody nose, sorry about that buddy, hell yeah. One fish on the morning. You love that. That woke me up for sure. That dude hit it angrily. I just made a long cast up over there, over where those carp are now waking. If you guys can see that on the bank over there, there's a bunch of carp over there, and I made a long cast over yonder. And I was just slowly popping it back across, and it made about right around where this tree is on the other side of it, and uh. Buddy came out from the shallows and smoked it. All right, confirmed. This rod does work all right for boppers. I thought I lost that guy for a sec. I think he was just swimming at me. But uh, other than that, kept him pinned pretty good. No complaints. I mean, it is a medium rod, so I'm not really surprised about that. Uh, I think for smaller boppers, I might start throwing them on spinning gear just for the moment until I can get myself a new uh, uh, popper or jerkbait rod. Oh, I think I pulled that one out of his mouth. I did. God damn it. Oh, that was such an aggressive bite. God dang it. I knew I was going to get bit on that cast. <sighs> Looked too good. Not good. That was all, that was totally my fault. I just kind of almost set the hook like it was a jig. Way too hard. Not good. Not very good. I'm just used to my uh, other rod, which is like a complete noodle, and you have to do that. Otherwise, you don't get a good hook in the fish. But now you just kind of have to reel into them, so I gotta get in the habit of that. Now that I broke that other rod. Bite. Got that one. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh my god, I actually got a good one. Okay, stay down there, sister. Oh my god, that's a big one. Oh, that's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. That is a freaking pig. That's a pig. That's a giant bass. That's a giant bass. Oh my gosh, look at her pulling drag. Look at her pulling drag. That's a giant. That's a giant, that's a giant, that's a giant, that's a giant. Come here, sister. Oh my God, come here. Oh my God, look at the size of that fish. That's a giant, that's a giant, come here, come here. Oh my God, that's a pig, that's a pig, that's a giant. I've got her. Oh my God, oh my God, that is a giant bass. Oh my God, that is a giant bass. Oh my God, what just happened? That is a giant freaking bass. What just happened? This is a pig. This is a toad. Look at the size of this fish. This is like a four pounder. Oh my God. Out of the little backyard ponds. Are you kidding me? Let's go, baby. Oh my God. All right, let's 
get this big girl unhooked. Oh, she just, it just came unhooked like that. That was so easy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I am shaking right now. All right, I'm gonna come on down here into the water. And oh boy, we're gonna let this big old girl go. All right, big mama, appreciate you. Go on, get. <laughs> Dude, that's a giant. Oh my God. <laughs> I was trying to stay really quiet because it's like literally 6.37 in the morning, something like that. I didn't want to wake anybody up because it is a Sunday. But oh my God, I'm shaking right now. That was a freaking mammoth. All right, and save clip. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Still a little bit salty about breaking that rod, but I'm super stoked that we were able to get that big fish. I know it was kind of cheating that I was fishing the ponds behind my apartment and they're technically private, but really, nobody really pays attention to those signs. People just walk in and out whenever they feel like it. So it's not exactly a private pond. And honestly, most of the fish in that pond are pretty small anyway, so I wasn't really expecting to catch anything that big, but we managed to pull out a couple of really decent fish for that pond. We had that smaller guy in the beginning of the morning on that little popper, uh, which I'll have linked down in the description. I'll have both of the baits that I caught fish on today linked down in the description. But yeah, always fun to get them on a popper. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get on a great top water bite, but we managed to pull it out and catch that giant fish. Didn't have my scale with me, unfortunately, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that thing was getting right around four pounds. That was a really good fish, especially for Colorado, and especially for a little tiny pond like that. But yeah, if you guys liked the video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Let's more people see this content, and obviously lets me know that you guys like it. And if you guys wanna see some more content from me, you can hit that subscribe button down below. Put up two new videos every single week, so if you guys wanna see some more content from me, that's gonna be the way you can do it. But yeah, I think I can do it for me. I'll check when you're and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out, peace.